1023 News Talk 820 WBAP, joined by Deborah Medina, running for governor in the Republican Party of Texas. She wants you to know you are not limited to that choice between Governor Perry and Senator Hutchison, and those are the names that we've, you know, uh, put in front of her, say, what's the matter with governor, what's the matter with the senator? So now how about we actually ask this lady what in the world uh, she's about? So let's do this. Uh, where, are you born in Beeville, right? I am born in Beeville, about halfway between Corpus Christi and San Antonio. And living in Wharton? Live in Wharton, just southwest of Houston. What you been doing all your life? I am a registered nurse, so I practice kind of all in and around health care. been in the hospital, in the emergency room, in the intensive care unit, uh, done some managed care, some work for insurance companies and law firms, and about seven years ago started a health care consulting business. We primarily do billing for physicians and ambulance services, kind of serve as their business office, if you will. Uh, so we're pretty familiar with all this health care stuff. I was going to say, if you know, if you talk, look at if you've got like I think of you know my friend Michael Burgess. If you just step up there and say, oh by the way, I'm a doctor, or oh by the way, I'm a nurse, or oh by the way, I'm this. If you're part of the profession, it gives you some uh, some extra juice. Uh, she'll be coming to the Metroplex, Deborah uh, Medina will. Uh, Two o'clock on Saturday afternoon at the Elbow Room, thirty ten Gaston, on Saturday afternoon at two. And Fort Worth folks can meet her at a nine twelve group meeting on Tuesday night of next week, seven to nine at Painless Performance on Liddell. All of this is at uh, medinafortexas.com. Just click on events and your upcoming travels will uh, uh, will be chronicled there. How have those travels been going? When, pe- when people who show up, uh, who are the folks who show up at your events and what do they tell you? Uh, about 30 of the, 30% thirty of the people at every event just found out about the campaign with uh, within the last week or 10 days and they're so excited they can hardly contain themselves to finally have uh, a candidate that they believe believes like they do and that's what i'd say to your listeners you and i were kind of talking off air about who am i i'm i'm basically one of your listeners you know somebody that's been out there working hard to raise a family make ends meet and electing people who promised us uh, values consistent with our own unfortunately they haven't legislated that way and so uh, this is the juncture where i step in and say i'm gonna i'm gonna put myself in that gap and fight that fight uh, I think the first thing that we have to do uh, is preserve and protect the essential elements of freedom. And I've been talking a lot about the essential elements of freedom being private property ownership and gun ownership. Uh, we're pushing very hard for the complete elimination of property tax in Texas. We believe that that fundamentally undermines that very core element of freedom. And if you don't own your property, you're really not free. Well, you, you you own your property, but it's taxed. Uh, a, how do we fund schools then? We fund schools with a consumption tax, with a broader base consumption tax, and a tax. sales tax. A sales tax. Oh, uh-huh. okay. How much if we did away with property taxes, which currently fund every school in Texas? How much of a sales tax increase would we need to? Well, we're actually going to get you a decrease in the sales tax mark from six and a quarter percent to six point one percent by mm-hmm. broadening the base. If we tax things that are taxed in one other state, and if we also add uh, to that base real estate, real property at the time of its sale, homes and and land just like you tax cars and boats, 6.1%. So that's a drop in the sales tax. Okay. So if I'm understanding, so so it's not the sales tax would go from 6.5 to 9. We would just, we'd start taxing houses. Well, if you sell a house for $200,000... There's going to be six six percent on that. that. Of course, you're in the black in about two years because mm-hmm. everybody's appraisals continue to go up, and most of us are looking at about a three uh, percent tax on that property for the life of the ownership of the mm-hmm. property. Um, I think ownership's kind of uh, become abused, hasn't it? It's really we're leasing it from the taxing entities. Um, so let's let's restore those elements. Let's give property back to the people that are working to pay for it. Uh, it's ours. We own it. We possess it. We are the king of our castle then. Then we're free, and we can begin to uh, implement some other free market things. The greatest thing about getting rid of property, or a great thing besides protecting property, mm-hmm. we see net personal income in Texas go up $3 billion in the first year, and we add 120 to 150,000 jobs over the course of the next three to mm-hmm. five years by eliminating the property tax. If um, it, it's, it, it's, are you convinced that would give us a, a, enough money to run, to run schools, that if we, if we taxed house sales? The, 
Dr. Art Laffer is the key investigator, I guess, on that study. It's published by the Texas Public Policy Foundation. Mm -hmm. They said they've been advocating the elimination of property tax for a long time, but people are pretty nervous about can we replace the money. And so they commissioned a study, and it was released at the end of April. That's their numbers. Uh, You can read that study at Texas Public Policy Foundation. Um, That's their numbers saying we get to revenue neutral. In other words, we replace every property tax dollar with sales tax dollars if we do this. A uh, couple minutes left. Let's uh, uh, immigration. I was looking at your website, and uh, a lot of people, folks say, you know, well, is that really a, a gubernatorial issue? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you, you sure think it is. What uh, what would you what would you do about borders as Texas governor? It, you know, it's a big gubernatorial issue. I think certainly the the property tax stuff that we're talking about going to a sales tax right now. We're funding schools with property tax, and and many are concerned about the cost to schools of educating illegal immigrant children who are here in our state. So everybody begins to pick up the tab for education. We're doing some innovative things on health care, I think, to put the decision about who provides charitable service back in the lap of the provider where that decision ought to be. So we begin to eliminate that. I'm paying for somebody else's charitable health care service. Uh, we begin to stabilize our hospitals so that they can continue to deliver care. Um, I think the biggest problem, a lot of a lot of rhetoric flying around about sealing the border, and we need to do that. The question is how, and I'm going to work real hard as much as people are pushing me for rhetoric to refuse to give you rhetoric. I want solid solutions and plans. I am working with every illegal immigration group in the state who has focused on this issue, who have the experts on this issue. I've been in contact with Sheriff Arvin West, who is the president of the Texas Border Sheriff's Association. We've got tremendous problems coming across that border, and we've got a big criminal element coming across that border. Um, so we've got to find some realistic solutions, not just um, put some lipstick on the pig, if you will, but find things that will actually work, and that's what we're looking for now. Deborah Medina is running for governor. The website is medinafortexas.com. I am sure this is not the only time we will chat. I've really appreciated it, and, and thanks, and best of luck to you, and good health and good travels, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Mark, I appreciate the opportunity to talk with you and the listeners in North Texas. Thanks so much. Our pleasure. Deborah Medina, Republican in that primary. It is Perry. It is Hutchison. It is Medina that will be on our ballots. Medinafortexas.com is her website. Thank you, Deborah.